A sanitary drainage system is made of pipes and other components and designed to effectively move effluent discharge from plumbing fixtures and other equipment to an approved point of disposal. These would be points like a public sanitary system or a private on-site water treatment system. Typical components of a sanitary drainage system include horizontal branches, vertical stacks, cleanouts, and a building drain inside the building. They will also include a building sewer from the outlet of the building drain to the point of disposal. All these components are covered in Chapter 7 in both the UPC and IPC. Some sanitary drainage systems will also include separators and interceptors, sump pumps and ejectors, and floor drains. Some of these are included in the chapter, while others are covered in following chapters. The goal of a well-designed sanitary drainage system is to use the smallest possible pipes capable of rapidly carrying away wastewater from all sources in the building, so that the pipes are cleared after use without leaving any clogging or solids behind. The pipes should also be large enough that they do not generate undue noise or excessive pneumatic pressures at points past the trap seal, particularly where the fixture drains connect to the stack. That could create siphonage of or back pressure on the trap seal. An optimal design will generally aim for about 50% of available space to be taken up by effluent when it's being carried through the horizontal piping of a sanitary system. A lower percentage fill of vertical piping is necessary to account for the increased air pressure created by a greater velocity of flow. In order to understand the effective pneumatic pressure on a trap seal, think of a subway moving rapidly through a tunnel, pushing the air in front of the train so as to increase positive pressure ahead of the train, while sucking air from behind the train, causing negative pressure in that part of the tunnel. Effluent flowing rapidly down horizontal sanitary drainage piping can create enough negative pressure behind the flow to draw the trap seal water away from the trap, and can create enough positive pressure ahead of the flow to push any effluent that is present between the trap seal and horizontal piping back into the fixture. <laughs>